that's the power of storytelling. If you have a universal insight that can resonate across time, then your work is remembered across time. And that would, that's fantastic. Hi everyone, I'm Paolo Heras and this is my bookshelf. Uh, it's it's actually bookshelves squeezed into one bookshelf behind me, which occupies one of the shelves in the Secret HQ bookstore. Okay, so this is my personal bookshelf. So I have some local comics like uh, The Trece, One to Seven, Manic Sombreras, complete copies. And then I have more graphic novels in Filipino and some spiritual books. These are the books that we sell in Secret HQ. We have copies of Community. So we've, we have been publishing this comic book anthology. Our first book that we published is Comics Cum Laude. So this documents the shift in storytelling in local comics, wherein it became more personal, more slice of life. And this is our bookshelf. It's called The Lion Shelf. So it's based also on our on our logo, um, on our pick-off logo, because it's a, the evolved form of Comet. I grew up with my grandparents, and my grandmom in particular, she loved to read, so she was always reading. And I was copying her, and the books that were available at home was either like Reader's Digests, or um, or Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew and you know I love those mysteries and I yeah I just kept on reading and and then started writing. Uh, I got a scholarship at the Philippine School for the Arts where I majored in creative writing. So I studied in Mount Makiling for a year and the 11th Rikili Script Writing Workshop, which was where I shifted from writing stories into film. What literature teaches you is that you're able to read the text. And if you're able to see everything else as a text, other people, what they wear, uh, films, books, uh, images, people, you're able to break things down as a text. And you're able to analyze, understand, learn, dig deeper, and gain insights, have a deeper understanding of people and life in general. So. It helps, it helps you see. And that's a very basic skill to have. So if I, if I get stuck on an island and I only had three books or three island books to bring with me, I guess it would, it would be reflections of the best parts of who I am. Uh, a lot of my, my work, um, I always owe it back to one of my mentors, and that's Ricky Lee. And um, one book, my favorite Filipino film of all time is uh, Moral by Marilu Diaz Abaya. So she's the director and uh, Ricky Lee is the scriptwriter for, for this. And this is one of my favorite books. It's a screenplay. Okay, so Moral is about four classmates, all female, uh, UP students um, who have different moralities. It's a multi-character story where, during a time when it's not yet uh, established uh, as often. It was always with one lead as a hero or a, of a love interest, a love team, right? So it's the first time that they had multi-characters in Philippine cinema, if I'm not mistaken. The second book that I would bring is The Zohar. This is more of, um, of spiritual studies, so spiritual literature. And um, The Zohar is the Book of Splendor. So it's uh, literally, it means light if i'm if i remember my kabbalah studies uh, correctly um it's interesting to study the torah or the the old testament from the original scholars and i think that is fantastic to understand to decode the sim symbols the symbology it's spiritual and not religious i did appreciate that as well so yeah it's uh, a source of divine inspiration i don't know what my third one is well i'm torn between Gabriel Garcia Marquez's 100 Years of Solitude because it's exactly what I would like to write. It's seeing the Filipino experience as magically real. We still believe in in um, the supernatural because it's part of our culture. And also, I do love children's books. And Shel Silverstein is one of my favorite 
he is the writer of The Missing Piece and he also has other books like The Giving Tree and to be able to to share the insight so sim- simply is fantastic and you know I I would also hopefully one day uh, have my own um, book of children's stories because that's why I would like to bring it as one of my island books to jumpstart me on my own my own anthology of children's stories but <laughs> I mentioned a lot more but yeah my three books what am I reading right now? okay but um, so yeah so because the comic books are 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 easy to read and um and I like to read them more than once to you know appreciate them further but uh, right now what's in my headspace is Tarantado Kalbo because we are also preparing for um his second volume and that's exciting when I get asked what comic books to read um as an intro um to comics and I would also say kung paano ako naging leading lady because this one is masterfully written uh the the scene building the character development the concept which i find is very very interesting and masterfully written for an indie creator i i am a big fan of rd aquino this is balik tanaw and it's a compilation of his work yeah while i create my my own book so Strange Natives and I'm still stuck on the third book <laughs> but um, hopefully despite doing a lot of things here for Comic at and off I would find time to do my own work so yeah